Hey guys, Journal Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land, whatever part of the world that you are in. Uh, here in our home place, uh, we have an issue um, called coccidiosis. Coccidiosis is a parasite that will get into the digestive tract and the intestines of your animals. It is caused by a coccin protozoa. Keep in mind, I'm not an expert. I'm not an animaltologist or anything like that. I'm just a dude that raises animals. Right now, uh, we have it with our rabbits. So, um, we lost uh, one of our uh, young rabbits last night, one of our young New Zealands, um, to this coccidiosis. Uh, the symptoms, you'll see that they just, they're lethargic, they don't move, they don't eat, they have uh, pretty bad diarrhea. Um, the, the parasite gets into their intestinal system. If it is a parasite, it may be a parasite, an enzyme, a uh, protozoa, or whatever that is exactly. I'm not sure because I'm just a dude. I don't understand it all, but I know what to do or what we're going to do for it anyway. Uh, they'll get real bad diarrhea and, uh, and then eventually they will die. Um, this is not something that you want to screw on, screw around with. You don't want to take any chances. Uh, with it being hot like it is now, hot and humid in the summertime, bacterias and stuff like that are just going wild, especially in the water sources. So this is something that we're going to jump on and get uh, everything done today. Um, and here's what we're doing. First thing that we're doing is we've got all the water bottles from the rabbits here we got them soaking in a little bit of bleach water to, to sterilize them out a little bit and we're going to give them a good cleaning and we're also doing it with the chicken water bucket everything and we're going to do it with the goat's water uh, up there everything and anything that holds water that the animals drink out of is going to get a good scrubbing and a cleaning and soak for a little bit in bleach and then uh, we've got, I got my spray bottle, which I'll show you here in a minute, that I've made, mixed up some bleach water in that we're going to scrub out the cages and clean the cages. Um, this is transferred normally uh, from animal to animal uh, through the feces or their feed. Um, I don't think it's our feed issue because we've only got the one rabbit that was sick. There's another one that's showing symptoms, but I think we caught it early enough to treat it. And I will show you the medicine that we're going to use to treat all of our animals' waters just to uh, kind of have a little bit of... Uh, preventative actions going on because like I say this is not something that you want to screw around with it will infect all of your animals your birds your rabbits your dogs and cats uh, and then instead of having a farm you'll have a bunch of dead animals which is not cool at all so uh, this is the first step we're gonna clean out all the waters uh, and give them a good sanitizing with some bleach and then uh, once we move up to, to the uh, the cages and start cleaning them, I'll show you what I'm doing up there, and then we'll show you the medicine that we're using. So uh, see you in a bit. Alrighty, we've got all of our waterers that have been uh, uh, washed with uh, warm soapy water, and now they are got bleach water soaking with them. I got a bucket right here that's got four gallons of clean fresh water. Uh, uh, that this bucket was washed and sanitized, and I've got four gallons of clean fresh water in there. To that we're going to add this is the medicine that we got it's 20 percent soluble powder uh, and proleum uh, this is what we're going to use yeah i realize that it's got a picture of a cow on it but we're not going to mix it uh, for the strength of a cow or a calf we are going to use one teaspoon of this uh, and proleum per gallon of water for a uh, preventative treatment for our rabbits and for our chickens and our goats and probably even the dogs this medicine, uh, we got it at Tractor Supply, it was about 20 bucks for this pack, is 10 ounces. So uh, this is how we're gonna mix it up. And uh, so that's the next step. And the next step is uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over and uh, we've got a bucket of bleach water here. We've got the, uh, the water, uh, you know, the nipples where the rabbits drink from and it's got a scrub brush in there. And now we're gonna go scrub down uh, one of these cages uh, and hose it off and clean it out real good. And we'll do that to all the cages, so I'll get right back with you. All right, here's our cage uh, that we had that one rabbit we had separated last night. She went ahead and she, uh, she didn't make it. But we're going to take our bleach water and our scrub brush, and we're going to scrub this cage down, concentrating on the floor, the bottom part of the cage, uh, because it's transmitted primarily through feces. So you want to scrub the cage down real good with a scrub brush and make sure you got it all cleaned out and we'll do this to all of our rabbit cages 
and this is a good thing to do anyway uh, every couple months just to keep everything clean and sanitary and once you get that on just rinse it off give it a good rinsing and we'll go around and we'll do the cages like that I'm showing you on this cage because once we get up to the barn it's going to be kind of dark and uh, it's going to be hard to see what I'm doing up there so but this is what we're going to be doing to the cages we're going to be scrubbing out the cage concentrating on the floor uh, um, on the little corners you know each rabbit has a little corner they'd like to go into so like I say this disease is spread through feces so scrub down the cages uh, with bleach water or ammonia water something that will kill the uh, the, the bacteria and the protozoa that's causing the, uh, the sickness so that's what we're doing next next we're going to uh, finish out these cages here and go up to the barn and uh, we're going to start filling up those waterers and what we're going to do now is dump out the bleach water give them a real good rinsing and then fill them with the medicated water for the preventative measures that we're going to take against this coccidiosis so uh, we'll get right back with you Okay guys, and this may be hard to see, this is our Champagne to Argent uh, Buck, Eddie. And you can see around his back end there. See around his back end where it looks real wet. Uh, he's, he's moving because I'm here messing with him. But you can see that he's kind of dragging his hind legs a little bit. His back feet are a little bit wet. Uh, he doesn't look very comfortable at all. He may have a little bit of uh, intestinal pain. If you rub on the side, you can feel that his stomach is a little bit bloated. So we're going to start him immediately with the treatment water and give his cage a good scrubbing and cleaning out. And uh, this is what we're going to do. Now that we lost one of the babies here, one of our New Zealands, because that's a cold water bottle in there if anybody's wondering, to keep him warm because it's hot. We lost one of our, uh, our baby New Zealands is one of the ones that we lost. We don't see any more you know the quote unquote pasty butts on any of these other ones but just because an animal looks healthy doesn't mean that it's not infected so we're going to uh, give all these cages in here there's our Flemish Flemish giant we're going to give all these cages a good scrubbing in here just like we did on the other one and uh, and that's going to help prevent any more of this uh, coccidiosis from spreading to these other animals so that's what we're doing we're going to scrub the cages out and we'll put the uh, medicated water in and uh, we'll keep you updated from there. So, here you go, guys. Okay, guys, you can see I got my little sprayer here, my little two and a half gallon sprayer. We've scrubbed out the bottom of the cages best we can. You're not going to get everything. We're just spraying the, uh, the cage down now and the behind the wall and everything with this bleach water to sterilize it. And we're going to spray it underneath the cage, all down around the back wall, any kind of a sitting board that you have for your rabbits to sit on. Spray everything down to keep it as clean, or not clean, but sanitary anyway, to kill any of those extra spores that happen to be in the feces or on their sitting boards. I'm going to spray everything down in here. And, uh, you know, animals get sick. This is part of nature. Don't get down on yourself. Don't give up. Uh, don't get mad uh, at yourself and think you're doing something wrong. You're not doing anything wrong. That's just uh, what happens sometimes. It's summertime. It's hot. And there's lots of bacteria out. And it is what it is. So... There you go. We're going to finish spraying everything down in here now. And uh, we'll see you in a bit. Alright, we put uh, we moved our medicine into a Tupperware container. And we put the, uh, the label on so we know what's in here. And now I'm going to put in four teaspoons of this uh, medicine here into this bucket. I've got a little bit of water in the bucket. But now, that's four. Now that I've added this... Uh, and proleum. We're going to fill up the water to approximately four gallons. Four gallons, so we're looking at one teaspoon per gallon of water. So now we'll fill it up to about the four gallon mark. And uh, we'll get back with you whenever we get to the four gallon mark. I don't want to bore the crap out of you watching me fill up a bucket. <laughs> okay, we are approximately the four gallon mark. We're going to give everything a quick stir here just to make sure that the medicine is dissolved in the water. And now we're just going to take our bottles, our clean and sterile bottles, and fill them up with this medicated water. Uh, any, any water that we have left in here, we'll just put the lid on the bucket and store it probably underneath the house 
uh, where it's cool and, and moist and dark and uh, all that good stuff uh, until we get this used up. Uh, we want it, the, the, the label says that it'll, it'll hold it for about five days uh, or three days and we want to run about five days on and five days off with the uh, medicine for the animals to treat them uh, for prevent, uh, preventive measures. So this is what we're doing. I hope this helps. Um, we'll keep you posted on uh, if we lose any more rabbits, but I really don't expect to since we're taking preventative measures and we're going to give everything a good cleaning. Uh, this is just uh, what we're doing. Like I say, keep in mind, I'm not an expert. I'm not a veterinarian. I'm not any of that kind of stuff. I'm just a dude who raises rabbits. And this is what we're doing. Uh, and we'll uh, let you know what happens. Okay, guys. So, uh, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Uh, if I can do it, you can do it. God bless. And then. Buzz, buzz, the end.